I remember that on set Matilda told me it's crazy because in this movie there is not one scene where it's just somebody walking, you know, in the street. <laughs> there are times you can just relax, it's your still. And it's true that in this movie it's either action or blood or technical stuff very intense and difficult to make. So I think each day was kind of a challenge yeah. to achieve. I like very much the food scene when I really enjoyed writing and I really enjoyed shooting it because I could feel uh, on screen when I was shooting it that something was happening and you can feel on set you know the moments where something happens and you immediately feel it and at the end of this scene I remember I was smiling I had a huge smile even if we were tired and it was difficult because I knew that the scene was here and it was gonna work very very well and it's the same for me for the end scene in the, in the corridor. You know on set that you've got it and something is gonna happen. My favorite scene is the foot scene. I saw it for the first time on screen and I wasn't there when they were shooting it. And I was just laughing so much. And to hear the audience laugh, but at the same time go, ugh. It was amazing. <laughs> I think that's what I really like with practical effects that are not CGI and I wanted all the blood and basically all the effects to be real, practical and not CGI because I think it brings so much um, more li life and feeling of the flesh and it brings I mean the real soul of the of the scene. You can you can feel it, you can sense it and I think um, it's very different when you, you know, shoot on green screen or add things in post-production or when you have it for real. For all the bloody moments, the fact that all the blood was there, we had all the elements, really created something very special on scene and helped that everything yeah, was happening. Yeah, I think for me the, the two parts of the movie really respond to themselves and are very much about the body. Uh, I think the first part of the movie is uh, the way how the body is sexified, you know, how everything is centrality, it's dealing about the elements, you know, of uh, centrality, sun, the pool, the music, and all the colors that are bright, you know, like juicy fruits. And after the body is gonna be, you know, hurt, it's gonna suffer, but it's also gonna become very strong, very harsh, very, very dirty, very dusty. And I think those both parts are responding to, to themselves. Mm. For me, it was very fun, the, the first part of, you know, the character, because I got to really express her seductiveness and centrality, and I've never done a role like that before. And I remember prepping in Paris for like an hour with uh, this girl, Colleen, who was a dancer from The Crazy Horse. And we rehearsed like, kind of like a dance, a general dance of what she was gonna do before the rape scene. And I remember like just getting so inspired by her and you know her confidence and that whole work was amazing uh, with the body work and exactly like the centrality, the first scene where they're in the room together. But I didn't feel it was like the nudity was you know too much because you don't really ever see that much in the film anyway, even in the rape scene. It's not very you know, showy. When I had this first idea, which is bringing something very special to the, to the scene, I think, I happened to realize that you never see male nudity on screen. And I think it's a great element to play with as well. And it really brings something very cinematic to the scene. And yeah, and of course, as well as reversing the traditional cliche, you know. <laughs>